So, and 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 which uh, technologies do you think, uh, as Africa, we should be considering right now? We should be looking at. Um. Um. Like, like I would ones, say, the ones that are trending right now, mm-hmm. like there is. When you speak of technology, there is uh, artificial intelligence, there is blockchain, there is uh, VR and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I would say all of them. So when you think of uh, when you think with blockchain technology, so cryptocurrency is is where our leaders should be focused on. Uh, okay. W- w- when you when you think of when you think of augmented reality, mm-hmm. I, I think we should be having that stuff in schools. Okay. It's, um, uh, uh, because if you if you if you've actually uh, put on a VR headset mm-hmm. and put on some 3D headphones uh, and then be able to immerse yourself in a certain culture in uh, in Nairobi, for example, in Kenya, okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a much better way to to learn Swahili if you can immerse yourself in that culture okay. and be able to smell how. Uh, how umboga smells like or, okay. or, or, or taste that ugali okay. uh, or taste uh, or feel the texture of ugali okay. uh, and hear people speaking Swahili with their local accent like that's a much easier way to learn Swahili uh, okay. for, for for someone who's young uh, without having to go to Kenya uh, and, the, and then when you think of things like um, uh, things like genetic engineering mm-hmm. I think uh, I think does hold a lot of uh, uh, a, a lot of opportunity particularly in uh, particularly in Africa where we're still uh, we're still uh, a, a lot of our wealth is is locked in things like um, um, things like land and minerals right. uh, and and that's where our governments uh, that's where we as governments are uh, are, are investing a lot of uh, a lot of our time and our money right. uh, uh, but uh, and I'll give an example in places like Israel they can 3d print meat uh, really? yeah in, in places like the US they've now started selling uh, cow, milk which is made in a lab so cow free milk okay uh, and uh, so so we so so it no longer makes sense to to use your land for cattle uh, okay. you could actually build a uh, uh, like factories with bio 3D printers, which okay. can, uh, which can make things like uh, things like organs okay. uh, in places where healthcare is still still very expensive and most people can't afford it. Uh, so, so I think I do think we can leverage a lot of these uh, trending technologies to reduce costs, okay. uh, but creating actual value. Yeah, but you do, you do also understand that like our government does not even give, uh, should I say. A budget that is like meaningful to the to the like ICT sector, and and I think it will be a challenge, like for Zimbabwe to get to that point where we are thinking about the sort of things that you are talking about right now. Yeah, I, I wouldn't wait for government to, to to solve these problems. I think these are these are business opportunities for okay. yeah for for people like you and me. Okay. Uh, and uh, wow. and these are things we can step in right now and uh, and, and and start and to start doing. and start to solve problems. So so think so so government doesn't have money. It's uh the, the money they uh, the money they spend is your money when you pay okay. taxes. Uh, so 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 when you think about it, you are the ones that uh, you are the ones that uh, uh, yeah that, that are not producing a, a budget for ICT. Okay. Uh, and by not registering to go and vote uh, for the policies you want to see, okay. uh, you are the one that's not uh, 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 that's not like provisioning a bigger budget for ICT. Wow. Uh, okay, <laughs> you're making.